Hi, fifth grade friends. Today is day number two of our Kente Cloth Pattern Project. Last time I saw you, you were choosing two designs and you were filling in each space. No, I am not done, but we're going to pretend that I am. And so I would have wavy, coffee bean, wavy, coffee bean. Coffee bean, wavy, coffee bean, wavy. All right, you will see on your slideshow there is a color chart. All right, on the Kente Cloth in Africa, the colors you wear for the special occasions for the Kente Cloth have meaning. So you're going to choose a couple colors that you feel you like for their meaning, okay? Or if you just have favorite colors you want to use, that's also fine. But whatever colors you decide to use need to be the same. So for instance, if you just choose to do these wavy lines red, all the wavy lines in your artwork will be red. If you choose to do your coffee beans bean design, for instance, green, all of them will be green so that the pattern is the same. So if I'm doing this coffee bean green, remember we hide the paper when we color. We're taking our time. You can do this with crayon. You can do this with marker. You can do it with colored pencil. You can mix and match. All right? Notice I did these dots red. So all the dots are going to be red. Coffee beans will all be green. I want you to leave very little white. What I mean by that is, in this section, I'm gonna use the guidelines for my folds. I'm gonna say, let's say this zigzag is orange and the other side is orange. When I say leave very little white, maybe I'll leave the space around the coffee bean white. All right, if you leave too much white in your artwork, Let's say you wanted the dots white, it's just not going to look finished. So color in the majority of your art. If these zigzags are orange, the other zigzags are orange. Now friends, depending on how detailed you got, this is going to take a while. I do not want you to finish coloring today because if you try to finish coloring today, it's just going to be rushed because there's a lot to do. So do a little bit today and then next week tune in for our next video and we'll use next week as our finish day. Alright, keep up the good work. Bye friends.